The men's basketball program at CNU first started 55 years ago, and over the weekend, thanks to a dramatic last-second shot from Trey Barber, the captains were able to bring this trophy home for the very first time. It's truly amazing, like support from everybody, fans, students, teachers, everyone. A standing room only at CNU Student Center, filled with applause and cheers for the champions. The first men's basketball team in CNU history to win a national championship. It's finally setting in when people were asking me right after, it just didn't feel real at all. So it's finally setting in, it's a great feeling. I think from the beginning we all told each other that, yes, this group is going to be national champions. And it's just surreal just actually being in this situation. We use y'all's love and support to just keep keep going. That's it. Y'all did it. This is more y'all than us, to be honest. We just finished the goal. They scored for the whole university and all those guys that have been in this program before. So in that moment, they were heroes for all of us. Four local players, two brothers from Norview High School in Norfolk, Colin and John Hines, played prominent roles in the captain's run. And the hero to bring it home, Trey Barber, with a bank at the buzzer. Two seconds left. Barber down the floor, puts it up and in. The captains win. The captains win the national championship. That's something that you're going to tell your kids and your grandkids. It is. It's the greatest. I've been dreaming about this my whole life. This is my first game winner, buzzer beater, anything. It's indescribable. Uh, the feeling, the emotions, uh, thinking about all those that, that helped get us to this point, uh, and then to be able to do it in that fashion, it's just... It's surreal. They set a standard of rising from the rubble of COVID. It's truly bigger than us. Like, we set the stone for the basketball team. The girls, um, soccer and softball, they set it for us. Now it's just, this should be the normal now. And in a week and a half, the CNU women will try and make it two for two when they play in their first ever national championship game at the Women's Division I Final Four in Dallas. In Newport News, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.